Elsewhere on the cul-de-sac, John is left to pick up the pieces as the heartache of the past few weeks finally catches up with Eden. If losing her best friend Felicity wasn't enough to deal with, fiancé Cash then opted to dump Eden at the funeral, fearing that fate would take her away from him too. Cash has made it painfully clear to Eden that he has no intention of changing his mind, and when she spots Cash out for a jog next week, Eden is heartbroken as she sees him actively avoid her. John can sense that Eden needs some company as she later drowns her sorrows in salt, with Eden happy to keep talking if he pays for the drinks. The pair end up being booted out of salt by Eden's bartender colleague after he cuts her off, with John opting to walk a rather tipsy Eden home, well, he is only next door. Eden laments the fact that Cash lives just across the road from them, and it's killing her to have the constant reminders of both him and Flick. John comforts Eden as she breaks down over the loss of her bestie. The only person who knows what I'm going through won't even talk to me, Eden sobs. John sees Eden into the house and pours her a glass of water before heading out, with Eden thanking him for listening. But as soon as John is gone, the water is replaced with a bottle of tequila. Later that night, Cash is woken up by a drunken Eden bashing on his door, who tells him that his pushing her away is not protecting her at all when she still loves him. Cash takes Eden home and helps her to her bedroom, but when she challenges him to admit that he doesn't love her back, Cash can't bring himself to say anything. Eden plants a kiss on Cash, and for a brief moment he reciprocates before his fear of losing her takes over, and he pulls away. Eden warns Cash that if he leaves now, there's no coming back. Cash apologizes and heads out the door, leaving Eden broken. When the ever-thoughtful JP brings Eden a strong coffee and some breakfast the next morning, he admits that he was worrying about her all night. But the only thing that Eden is worried about at that moment is the fact she made a fool of herself last night. John decides to pay a visit to Cash and says it as it is, warning him that although Eden is still in love with him, she won't wait forever. Will Cash be willing to listen?